college tuition continues to rise and high school seniors and their parents are busy this time of year completing financial aid forms and scholarship applications. Cumberland Community Foundation administers more than 40 scholarship funds and in 2011 it awarded over $165,000 in college scholarships to students from southeastern North Carolina. Susan Barnes explains how students can apply for the various scholarships available through the foundation. We will also hear from Sharon Sanders of Veteran Services about two scholarships available to children of veterans. Cumberland Community Foundation is a nonprofit public charity that builds endowment for our community. It was established by and for the citizens of Cumberland County. Two of the grants I wanted to share with you are the grant we made to purchase land for the headquarters library. And another um, grant that we have given in the past is a grant to Cumberland County Medication Assistance Program. That is a program that is a pharmacy for people who um, do not qualify for Medicaid or are not able to purchase private health insurance. Another way is through our scholarship program. Cumberland Community Foundation has over 40 scholarship funds and in 2011 we gave over $165,000 in scholarships to our students. We have um, donors who have a variety of interest areas and that is shown through the scholarships that we have. We have scholarships for certain high schools such as Terry Sanford or E.E. E. Smith. We have scholarships for different colleges such as Methodist University, Fayetteville State University, or UNC Chapel Hill. We have scholarships for specific majors such as education or agriculture. Now two of the newest scholarships that we have are the J. McNatt Gillis Memorial Scholarship and the Gordon M. Williams Scholarship. They were established by the Cumberland County Farm Bureau Federation. Their criteria are that the children, the students have to be children or grandchildren of Cumberland County Farm Bureau members and they have to major in agriculture at the university that they attend. Scholarships at Cumberland Community Foundation are very easy to establish. We um, have just a list of questions and things that you can call the foundation, talk with one of our staff members, and they will help you design a scholarship based on your interest areas. So um, there's a minimum amount of money to contribute, but you have a five-year period of time to do that. And once the um, the scholarship is endowed or you have given the whole amount, then um, we use the interest and earnings from the scholarship fund to pay the scholarships annually. The state of North Carolina offers a scholarship for children of North Carolina veterans. The criteria is set up by the state and the North Carolina Division of Veterans Affairs is the organization that awards the scholarships. The scholarships that are automatic are if a veteran died on active duty because of wartime service or died 100% disabled because of wartime service, that child automatically qualifies for a scholarship. The second is awarded to children of a veteran parent that's 100% service-connected disabled due to wartime service. That is also an automatic award. The third is to a child whose father was a prisoner of war or MIA, and that's an automatic award. The third is a award that is given on a competitive basis, and there are 100 of them that are awarded each year. This is given to children whose parent was disabled 20 to 80 percent for a service-connected disability that was uh, occurred during wartime. The last category is also competitive and they award 100 and that's given to children who don't exactly fit into any other category. If the parent at the time of death was receiving a non-service connected pension, the child can apply. If the parent received a wartime award, and this is particularly true with our OEF and OIF now. If they have some kind of wartime award, they can apply. And also, if a parent served in war but is not service connected, just has wartime service, they can apply. 
the qualifications uh, for all five come under the same thing. The state has set those. The child must be under the age of 25 and a natural born child or have been adopted prior to age 15. Child also must be a full-time resident of North Carolina, having been born here and lived here all their life. The other way that they can be qualified is if the parent was a resident of North Carolina at the time of entry into the service. The applications are available two places here in Fayetteville. We have them in our office at the Department of Social Services. We're on the ground floor. The applications are also available at the North Carolina Division of Veterans Affairs District Office, which is located on Chicago Drive. The deadline for the applications is February 15th. However, the student does have until February the 29th to have, get the application to the office in Raleigh. If it's postmarked by February the 29th, it will be accepted for this year's scholarship program. A second scholarship that we have the applications in our office is a scholarship that's being awarded by the County Veteran Service Officers of North Carolina. This is a $500 scholarship and it is given to five students in North Carolina. The only criteria is that the parent is a veteran with an honorable discharge. The students are qualified under academic, financial, and writing abilities because that scholarship does require a short essay be written. Cumberland County Veteran Services is established here in the county and funded by the county to assist veterans with all benefits. We are located at the Department of Social Services and we help with disability benefits, we help with dependent benefits, we help with education benefits. I'd just like for everyone to know that we are available, we do offer free services, and I'd like to invite all the veterans in Cumberland County to come to our office for any assistance.